Welcome back to The Breakfast. The outcome of the U.S. presidential election is on a knife edge. I think that's, that's probably the best way to describe it. With uh, Donald Trump so far, of course, pulling figures a lot of people maybe didn't predict. And, of course, uh, his Democratic challenger, Joe Biden, running neck-to-neck -neck also in a number of swing states. The president has a narrow lead in the must-win state of Florida, a major boost to his re-election bid. But uh, Joe Biden could snatch Arizona, a once reliable conservative state. The vote caps a long, bitter race. Uh, of course, uh, other key states such as Georgia, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, and North Carolina are also toss-ups. More than 100 million people cast their ballots in early voting before Election Day on Tuesday, setting the United States on course for its highest turnout of voters in a century. Joining us in the studio now is our senior correspondent, senior news editor, plus minus, <laughs> he's been following religiously and keeping us updated even before I came in here. Uh, he's been keeping us updated on what's going on. So let's start on that basis. What is the latest um, with the U.S. elections? Um, quite, 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 quite interesting. You know, U.S. election, I'm, I'm sorry if anybody will, will fault my opinion, seems to be the most interesting most unpredictable. It's not an election where you can just go to the bank and say this is the way it's going to go. Uh, it's been quite interesting. You know, um, it, it, it brings us the dynamics of the Electoral College. That is not about the majority vote, which also counts. But That's it, the intriguing part you know, in all of this. So it's been quite interesting. We have 10 states to go out of the 50 states, and out of the 40 states, Trump is very, very close to Joe Biden in terms of the Electoral College. You know, the Electoral College word comes in, and I, I'll take my time to explain, to explain that. that. But so, could, you, could, you, could you tell us a bit about the, uh, we know uh, Biden spoke a little earlier. Exactly. And then you, you mentioned just before we came on air that Trump is about to speak. Yes, and uh, probably before I leave the studio, if Trump is able to give us uh, his own part. You know, what Biden did is what we call some of those political moves. He was able to address the... The, 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 the audience, the audience are usually in their cars, blaring the horn to hail whatever he's saying. And he's saying, oh, we are moving close. We are winning that we are heading to the White House. And that is quite sensitive. People will say, why don't you wait for the election to come in? And he mentioned that issue. You mentioned that, oh, we're expecting a win in Arizona. We're expecting a win in some states that are yes. still controversial. But probably he has a superior information as a stakeholder in the poll. So uh, uh, whether is going to win now. I'm sure that's the reason why Trump also wants to join in the fray. Because the one he mentioned, which Twitter has already flagged down, when he said they are trying to steal our votes, that when election is over, why should they still allow people to vote? That sounds like a defeatist uh, mentality. So, But I guess it's also going to come out to say that we are retaining the White House. So, But let me not preempt what he's going to say. If you're able to get that, that is cool. But from the way things are, as of three hours ago, four hours ago, it was almost looking like uh, Biden was coasting home. But as we speak, we have 220 to 213. And now... That brings me to the Electoral College. Now, the Electoral College is calculated... It's currently 221 to 213. Currently. Yes. 221. Okay, that must be... Uh, is it Ohio? One, one particular state has one Electoral uh, College vote. How, how does this work? What, what is the Electoral College? Interesting. In fact, uh, maybe I should give you a background to why I got to know much about this thing. You know, when I was going to cover the presidential election four years ago... My first time of trying to get the visa to collect the visa, I was told to say something about the Electoral College, and I was blabbing. <laughs> <laughs> and they told me, excuse me, you're not granted a visa. So by the time I was going to reapply, I you studied it like a PhD <laughs> thesis. And at the time when I went for the second one, the consular officer had to tell me that what you know, 50% of Americans don't, don't even know, know it. it. So... Call me an authority. Oh, yeah, tell us. <laughs> tell us what so we basically, need to know. Electoral College has to do with um, the number of seats you have at the Congress, the number of electors, that's the word they use. And that has to do with, you know, in Nigeria, we have three senators per state. In America, they have two senators per state. So we have 100 senators. That has to do with um, 100 electors, so to say. 
Now, in a state, for example, in California, we have 53 House of Rep seats in California. While in some states, you don't have more than House of Rep seats, more than two. So in, if, in a state like Ohio now, I'm not too sure of the figure they have there. If they have yes. just two, it's just going to be two senators. That's two All right, seats uh, sorry to interrupt two. you. Um, they're whispering that we have uh, Trump uh, making a speech that you okay. actually alluded to earlier. That's uh, uh, him uh, live from Washington, D.C., um, taking, uh, taking his, um, his position to the people at this very tight uh, time. Uh, of the election. I will bring you uh, the feed a little later, but let's still stay with you uh, in the studio. The you're, you're trying to explain so, what that is. Uh, because of time. So when you have a state like Ohio having two rep seats and two senatorial seats, it's just going to be four for that state. A state like California, because of the land mass and population, you have 56 plus two senators. That makes it 58. Coming. See, the so, more so you go, I'm sure you're confusing the ordinary person. No, no, so so, it, so it is, it, it, it's not important who wins the state with regards to popular, popular vote in the votes. state. When it you is, win the state, they you, you take all, the, electoral, you get all the electoral. Exactly. So we have 538 all in all. Are you getting it down? Let, yeah. So let me take it easy. Mm -hmm. We have 538 all in all. So it will take you to have 270 for you to have majority votes. Because next yes. to 270 is 258. So you cannot have a tie. Do you understand? So yes. basically, when you have 270, it makes you a winner. That's why you see that it takes 270 electoral votes to become the president of the United States. So it basically is um, a reminder, because th there must be some people who feel there's no need to vote since the electoral college you know, is eventually going to declare winner. But th this is a reminder that you must win as many states as possible, exactly, including some big ones. Yeah. Just, just to add to what he is saying, as I was watching the commentary this morning, there was so much com um, conversation about the electoral college, and I'm like, um, why is it so important? And, and I, I alluded to that earlier when I said, is the U.S. really democratic? Could you explain to us why the majority will go out to vote? And then we saw it with Hillary Clinton. Popular vote, she won. Electoral college, she lost. Yes, it's unique to every country. Just like Nigeria, it is not just about majority votes that makes you a governor or a president. You also need to have a, what we call the two-third spread, where you have 25% of the two-third of yes. a particular geographical location. So for the Americans, theirs is, it's not just enough to have majority Popular. votes, because we could have a case where, oh, the blacks are more in number, therefore, the, when the blacks now decide, it now makes you a black president. But they want you to have a spread across all this country. So if California has a huge number of different races, and you're able to win that state, that makes you more popular than your opponent. So that's the idea of the Electoral College. So back to, because we need to make this clear. So when you are talking about the Electoral College now, how do you achieve the 270? There's something we call the swing states. There's something we call the safe states. Now, the Democrats usually have the safe states, which are usually won by the Democrats. Then for the Republican, they have states that are usually won by the Republican. Now, the swing states are it could go here, not there. So people deploy their skills, their resources to win those states. And so for um, Biden, is learning from what happened to Hillary, that I think what I should push more is the Electoral College rather than popular votes. Popular votes. But you need to reach different states for you to have this. It's still looking complex, right? <laughs> Not really. I, I, I have tried repeatedly <laughs> to grab, I, I do get the basics of it really, but the, the same question will continue to play in people's mind. Uh, at the end of the day. You know, I told you still. I studied like a PhD, so you <laughs> can't do justice to his intelligence. <laughs> really but in all, yeah. in yes, all, now we have 230, right? And 200 and 221, 221 and 213. Yes. That is still less than 500. Yes. And we're going to 538. So all a candidate needs to do is to push to 270 and you're declared the winner. Uh, tell us about the male vote, uh, because we know that the judge has issued that all 
uh, all uh, must uh, make sure that they give priority to uh, mail votes. What it, I mean, the results are not completely in yet. What What do you hope to see? Will that really change much? Because uh, conversations that I have been following say it seems the more Democrats went to uh, the mail to I mean voted through the mail. So some of these swing states we are seeing, the narrative might change in a day or two. And basically, I, I think it's just for us to give preference to the COVID issue so that we don't have to come together, we don't have to clock together, there's not necessarily need to put people in danger. So there is so much attention to that, to make sure that, oh, there is early vote, you don't have to wait till November 3 before we all congregate to make our choices. You know, Americans are very sensitive about their data, they are very sensitive about the technology to make sure that these things are not hacked and the results are not tampered with. So technically, I think they've con they, they have collated this vote and the results are being announced state by state. Do you see uh, that having real impact? Because some people still hold uh, the belief that, uh, though the margin is slim now, that those male votes could have uh, some impact in swinging uh, to one party, uh, to one candidate. Uh, as far as we, we are concerned, the results are already being declared. So what we have is just few states left and uh, I should say this as a way of uh, comedy, we are not waiting for one, any electoral officer to tell us that the microphone is not working, <laughs> the light cannot see the, uh -huh. the results. Oh, the CCTV camera also no, uh, went off yeah, at 8 p.m. <laughs> There's also uh, no inconclusive uh, results. No in inconclusive oh. results. So, so basically, uh, thank you so so much. it's well, going to be an interesting day. But yeah. I don't know. I wish I could come here and predict we, while I was coming. But now, I, mean, no I cannot either. predict. <laughs> There's not going to be any rerun uh, much, for the elections, uh, no? Thank you very much, for sharing your thoughts. And staying awake all through the night to make sure you have the latest for us on The Breakfast. Thank you so much. I'll see right. you on the other side. <laughs> Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.